Hey, what's up, everybody? RJ back with another video, and you know, this time of year, we're getting close to the end of the year, and we're getting really close to, you know, when people start speculating who Undertaker's going to wrestle at WrestleMania this year. Is he going to wrestle? Is this, you know, this going to be the year that ends the streak, which I never, ever think about, really. You know, I mean, obviously, the streak's never going to end, so anyone that thinks it's going to end, you know... Uh, I highly doubt you're right. You know, I'm 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 pretty confident in the fact that the streak will most likely never end. Now, uh, now whether who he faces, you know, people always talk, oh, is it gonna be Ryback this year? Is it gonna be Cena? Is it gonna be Rock? Is it gonna be you know? They, some people come from left field. I don't know where it's gonna be Stone Cold coming back. Um, here here's where I stand on it for this year coming up. Um, obviously we're still quite a few months away. Um, we got Hell in a Cell interview. Uh, this Sunday, and uh, basically where I stand on the matter is, um, there's no way someone like Stone Cold is going to return just to get beat by Undertaker, and I really highly doubt anyone that's not already under contract is going to return to lose to Undertaker, so anyone that has that in their mind, I would really suggest that you just stop thinking about that, because I highly doubt that that's going to happen. Now, um, where I stand on it is, I think that WWE is planning, what makes sense to me, if I was booking WrestleMania, what makes sense to me would be to book Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. And I'll tell you why, they're both part-time guys. Um, you can build so much better storylines around the full-time guys um, with a lot more you know, on, on camera and on television work um, to work a match. Now, uh, the weird thing about Lesnar versus Taker would be the fact that you know it'd be Paul Heyman probably in the corner two straight years, um, which at the same time could actually you know benefit the storyline. You know, basically maybe giving the advice you know like oh well, CM Punk couldn't do it because CM Punk's not better than Brock Lesnar and you know things like that. So I mean it'd be pretty interesting. Not to mention the uh, the actual uh, confrontations that they had at the UFC pay per view a few years ago. Uh, people were talking back then, oh, Undertaker's going to face Brock Lesnar one of these days, you know, and and that'd be a pretty good build-up. I mean, people already, people that know wrestling and know fighting and know MMA and know Brock Lesnar and Undertaker, they all know about this confrontation. Basically, it wasn't much to it. He came uh, by him after the fight, after Brock Lesnar lost, he came by him, and, uh, and then Undertaker said, you want to go, you want to do it, or whatever, and then Lesnar looks at him real hatefully, and then they... They go on, and then uh, afterwards, about a month later, Brock Lesnar did an interview with uh, UFC. He was still contract at the time, and he, and he basically said, "Well, I don't know what he meant by that, and if he wants to fight me, you know, he ain't got a chance." Stuff which he wouldn't have a chance. Undertaker is too old to get in the octagon with Brock Lesnar. I mean, come on, and and way too injured. But um, it would definitely make for good uh, WrestleMania uh, chemistry and good match there because, I mean, let's face let's face it, uh, Undertaker. Probably only has a few WrestleManias left in him, and one of the only people he hasn't faced at WrestleMania is the man Beast Brock Lesnar. I mean, uh, it'd be pretty awesome. It'd be a pretty good match. I think that I think that it'd work a lot better than putting Lesnar in a in a match with some real stiff guy like Ryback or something that really isn't going to mean anything. I know people were talking about oh it's going to be Ryback versus Lesnar, you know Paul Heyman guy versus the other Paul Heyman guy. You know they're fighting over Paul Heyman or some stupid stuff. But I think that would not make sense. I think I think that that would be a horrible match. It'd be too much like the, probably WrestleMania 20 Goldberg versus Lesnar. You all seen how that worked. Granted, I know they were both on their way out and they didn't have their heart into the match. But I just don't think that two stiff guys like that could really work together that well. Um, so Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar has been floating around for a while, and I think that it is at this time the most probable chance of a match happening. This is the most likely match that we're going to see at WrestleMania. The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar obviously um, takes a lot of punishment. Is a really stiff worker. It's going to be a really grit, gritty, really brutal match. Which is what Undertaker likes to have. He likes to come out there one time a year and just hurt himself real bad. So um, how this match is going to go I'm not quite certain. I'm not quite certain if it's going to happen. But I think that it will. And Apparently I'm not alone because it's it's kind of, you know, been floating around for a little while. And to me, it's the most sensible. Rock Taker, not likely. You know, um, obviously there was that talk about Rock versus Brock. And obviously uh, uh, the Rock got hurt and stuff. So I'm sure we'll see that down the road at WrestleMania. I doubt it. I'm really 
really considering the fact that that The Rock's got more movies to make and stuff. So obviously The Rock will probably have some type of match at WrestleMania. He's going to be retiring from in-ring action soon in the next few years. But is this year for Rock versus Brock? I doubt it. Is this the year for Brock versus Taker at WrestleMania? Sounds about right to me. It sounds likely. And um, anything can change. But at this moment in time, when we're this many months away, it's the most likely candidate. So let me know what you guys think. Um, give this a thumbs up if you could. And uh, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Just, just, just tell me in any on Twitter. I'm on Twitter at, at XRJX720. Um, some of you guys know me on Facebook. So, so if you guys could get back with me and just let me know who you think Undertaker's going to face and whether you think it's going to be the man beast Brock Lesnar.